for those of you who don't know me, I'm Malin, and today I'm gonna to share with you everything I eat in a day, focusing in a little bit on comfort food because autumn has truly arrived and all I want to do is eat sort of cozy, warming food and that's what I want to share with you in this video. So for breakfast, I made oats. It's my go-to breakfast. If you think porridge is a little bit boring, there's plenty of things you can do to make it more fun. In autumn, I really enjoy making sort of compotes or sauces out of apples or pears or even plum or I like to make some stewed berries so I just warm them on the hob but in today's uh, breakfast bowl I had my oats I added some light tahini which is one of my favorite things to add to porridge to spruce it up a little then I also added on some more cinnamon because you can never have enough Layered over that, I added my apple compote and I like a big dollop for a lot of nice flavor. And then I just sprinkled on some blueberries and I actually should have thawed them, but I didn't. So they're going on, they're frozen. But it's actually fine when you put uh, frozen fruit or at least when it's so small onto porridge, it usually just uh, defrosts before you eat it. And then I finished it all off with some toasted seeds. And this is another little trick I like to use for my porridge to make it a little bit more fun is to toast the seeds because it really brings out that nutty flavor that's naturally in them that doesn't really come out when you have them raw. So you just do that in a dry pan for a few minutes until they start to pop and they brown a little bit and it's so much better. So that's some tips for you to try, but that's all about my breakfast and I will see you for a snack or for lunch. Before we move on with this day in food, I want to thank Nordgreen for sponsoring this video. Nordgreen, or Nordgren as I would say in Swedish, is a Danish-based brand that create ethically made and really beautiful and classic looking watches. For the past week or so, I've really been enjoying reading the time on my wrist rather than on my phone, and I've been trying out Nordgren's Infinity Watch. And what I like about their watches is that they're all really timeless pieces. They're classic and beautiful, and you can change the straps as well, which means that you can use them for a long, long time. They're a good investment in the future. And I'm all for buying one good quality product that will last for years to come over many items of less good quality that won't. One thing that really caught my eye with Nordgren is that they offer vegan leather straps in addition to the mesh straps as well as their nylon straps, which gives me lots of choice even as a vegan. And I love that they have thought about this. They also use eco-friendly packaging and they work with NGOs to give back to people and the planet. And this means that some of the money you would spend on a watch goes into social or environmental initiatives, which I think is really great. In addition to this, they work with union certified factories, making the workplace a safe place for people. I will link to Nordgren's website in the description box and if you use this link and you're interested in one of the watches, it'll also give you 15% off your order. And now let's get back into my day. with my mom who's visiting. I'm ready to make some lunch. And yeah, we're so super lucky with the weather, but it's still kind of chilly. So I'm going to make a super simple tomato soup. And yeah, it has just a few ingredients. So I'm excited to show you. And uh, to go along with that, I'm going to make some toasted cheese sandwiches. And I saw Jamie Oliver do these quesadillas where he grated mm, raw vegetables into the cheese and then added it between the tortillas. So I'm going to try that same principle, but in the sandwich form that I'm doing. And I'm also going to make them in a waffle press. And I think our Swedish waffle press looks a little bit different also to, for example, the UK or the US. So 
we'll see what you think of it. <laughs> Anyways, it's going to be delicious. I'm excited to cook, so let's go. I went to help out my sister with an important errand and it ran a little bit long so I had a nice snack when I came home I was pretty hungry I had that nice hummus with some veggies and some clementines clementines yeah whatever you want to call them and I can totally recommend grating some veggies in your toasted cheese it was really yummy actually I also added in some smoked tofu in there for a touch of little extra protein and um, now I'm ready to make dinner I'm going to make a vegan mac and cheese with pumpkin as the base and yeah I'm looking forward to showing you this recipe is on my blog so I'll link it in the description box for you if, in case you want to make it yourself and yeah I was meant to put peas in it but I uh, I used them up yesterday and I forgot to get more so you'll just have to imagine there's peas in there maybe I'll use some more tofu instead I also want to show you uh, something I like to do when I buy beetroot with the greens on and uh, a lot of people would just throw this away and uh, you can eat them they're really yummy actually they have a slight bitter uh, taste but when you cook them it takes it away really and yeah I love to cook them with garlic so I'm gonna do that this evening and I'm gonna show you uh, yeah how I eat them 
So let's get started with dinner. dinner and I wanted to say that if you have some leftovers from cooked pumpkin or cooked sweet potato or even cooked carrot you can transform it into this type of mac and cheese so it's really great if you have leftovers and yeah I hope you enjoyed seeing how I like to cook the beet greens as well honestly it's so easy to just cook them with some salt garlic and lemon and yeah they're a really yummy green to have on the side of sort of any meal or you could include them in a soup or a stew the same way you would do kale so that's a little tip from me to you now i'm going to have a little dessert of an oat cookie i made that has some coconut and raisins and walnuts in it i'm going to work a little bit more on this recipe and then i hope to share it with you so please let me know if you'd like to see that as well and yeah i hope you enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching if you haven't subscribed yet please do and give me a thumbs up if you like the video take care bye